Welcome to the Cheap 06. This is a Z06 that I am modifying, but I am keeping everything very inexpensive. So we started with a high mileage one owner car and the previous owner took great care of it. We have a huge stack of maintenance receipts and all of the big ticket items have been done on this car, which is great. But as you saw from the other video, I had a lot of work to do with this car. There were a few things that needed attention, mainly small things. So today I'm gonna to talk about the suspension, what I did to transform this car from a high mileage rickety car into a fantastic performing modern feeling car. Let me show you some of the parts that came off this guy. These are the 2003 shocks and these aren't good. Uh, the 2001 to 2003 Z06 came with some interesting dampers and I've driven a couple of them on the racetrack and they don't perform that great. And so the main thing that I noticed with my 2002 Z06 is when I took it out to the track, uh, little bumps would really upset the car and send it going sideways. And when you're on a bumpy track, that can be pretty scary because this is a very fast car. So got rid of these. I put in some C6 Z06 shocks this time. And the reason I did that is because I haven't tried them before, but many people recommend just going to 2004 Z06 shocks. And that is a very good upgrade. Now, some other common things with this car, the bushings on the sway bars can wear out and they start making noise. So this is the bushing that came out of the front of the car and it was making a binding noise when I went over speed bumps and I didn't like that. So I put some poly bushings on this car and going to poly bushings uh, means that you're going to a stiffer bushing. And so the effect that that has on the handling is the car now corners flatter and I like that. Now the negative side of the poly bushings is that I'm going to get some noise. It's important to keep those bushings greased so I have a tub of poly bushing grease in my garage and I will probably have to re-grease those bushings at different intervals when they start squeaking. So that's important to note. Another thing that makes noise in the Corvette suspension is the end links. So these are the end links that came out. This one is actually not bad, but a few of them are making noise. You know your end links are bad when you're traveling over uneven pavement and the car starts clunking, making knocking noises. So what I like to do with the Corvette end links is actually go aftermarket. I got Moog end links. And the reason I like these end links is that they have a Zerk fitting on them so I can grease them. And that really keeps the noise down on this. And so the total cost of the poly bushings, the Moog end links, and the C6 Z06 shocks was about 400 bucks. And now these videos stay up on YouTube for a long time. So that price is going to increase over time but just know that I transformed this car for under 500 bucks. And when you think about that, that's just fantastic. These cars are very inexpensive to own and very inexpensive to modify and make into fantastic sports cars. I will be posting a how-to. I had the head mounted camera on when I swapped out the shocks on this car. There are a lot of cool tricks to swapping out the shocks using a zip tie to keep the shock compressed. So you do not need to remove the upper A-arm on the front and also how you pull the shock out of the rear of the car. There's a trick to it. And so posting a how-to will help you guys out in modifying your own C5. That's all I have for you on the suspension. Of course, I already did the brakes on this car and I'll be going ahead with other modifications as well. If you're not subscribed and you're interested in seeing more C5 videos, go ahead and subscribe and also check out my playlist. There's a good chance that something that you're already looking for has been posted on my channel. So that's all I have for you. Thank you for watching. Make sure that you enjoy your car.